affiliates in the world, and it's because of the leadership of Lark Palermo and her team, and Bob Kenny and the board, and each and every one of you for supporting this amazing organization. Um, it is wonderful to be with Councilor Di Maria, with Chief uh, Sheila Dillon, and I do send uh, regards from my dad, George O'Malley, a builder emeritus of Habitat, uh, who sends his love and best wishes from Florida. Uh, congratulations to Stu and to Sue and to Darren and Abstentia uh, and to Kellyanne. Thank you for those words. Uh, you so beautifully illustrated what this organization does. Habitat does not build houses, Habitat builds homes. And there have been tens of thousands of lives who have been changed for the better because of the work of this organization and the support of each and every one of you. Um, for the last several years, Clark has given me the honor of introducing the, the guest of honor, the, the awardee of the American Dream Award. Uh, and while it's been special every year, this one is particularly special because I get to introduce my dear friend, uh, an amazing leader, someone whom I sat next to on the Boston City Council for many, many years. And while I miss sitting next to her, I am glad that she is standing up for all of us in Washington, D.C. as a member of the United States Congress. Ayanna Presley came to Boston in the 1990s to attend college at Boston University. Uh, shortly after that, with a love of passion, a love and passion in politics and organizing instilled by her late mother and her shero, an amazing force of nature, Sandy Presley, Ayanna began her political career by interning for former Congressman Joseph P. Kennedy II. That led to a great job with Senator John F. Kerry. Uh, and finally, in 2009, after many people had been waiting many years for her to run, Ayanna launched her first campaign uh, ever, and it was for the Boston City Council. She won and became the first woman of color elected to the Boston City Council in our nearly 400 year history. She went on to serve. <laughs> election in 2011, 2013, 2015, 2017. I would say they wouldn't count her votes, they would weigh them because she would top the ticket, winning across every neighborhood in the city of Boston. And her time on the body uh, was a really remarkable legacy that she left for all of us. She was the founding member of the Committee on Healthy Women, Families, and Communities. I was proud to be her vice chair and proud to have taken it over uh, when she left us last uh, year, or this year I should say. Uh, she worked on issues around equity, she worked on issues around safety, she worked on giving those without a voice a voice at the city hall and at government around the Commonwealth. Uh, she was a leader on housing issues particularly. One of the issues that I was so proud to work alongside Iona with was the rental registration and inspection ordinance in Boston, which there was a lot of pushback for, but we recognized the dignity that folks had in living in a safe clean, wonderful home, which many of you uh, are supporting with the work and the support of Habitat today. In 2018, she decided to run for the United States Congress. She ran one of the most flawless and inspirational campaigns I have seen after a lifetime in government and in politics. Uh, she was elected, and although it's only been about 100 days since she's been a member of Congress, uh, her incredible work, her incredible leadership, her incredible advocacy, has helped change this country for the better. It is so wonderful to see that the rest of the country has seen what we've known in Boston for 20 years now, and that's that we have someone who is smart, who is tough, who is resilient, who is a disruptor, who is a change maker, and who is a true leader for all of us. The name of this award is the American Dream Award, and what's a better example of the American Dream than a leader who starts out as an intern for a member of Congress and gets elected to that seat 20 years later. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the winner of the 2019 Habitat for Humanity American Dream Award, our friend, our leader, our neighbor, Congresswoman Ayanna Presley.